Agents, what if you were landing all your shots? Would you need all that damage that you're specking into your builds? Would you even need as much armor? I put together an assault rifle build here that has 158% weapon accuracy. The idea behind this is to see if we can outgun the enemy, literally. And we do that by shoving as many bullets into the enemy's face with minimal misses in the shortest amount of time possible. If you are landing twice the amount of shots, then maybe you'd only need to spec in half the amount of weapon damage that you have now. This opens up a lot of space in your build to create hybrid builds that are better situated for all types of combat scenarios. There's basically no limits to what you can do. So let's get out there and get into some trouble. I'll be making tweaks along the way so you can see how different talents and weapons perform. And stick around to the end because I'll have a build template for you to work with. All right, let's roll. So the stats show we only have 113% weapon accuracy. That's because 45% is coming from our chest talent called Brace, which kicks in as long as we're in cover. And that's how we get to 158% accuracy. So I have a walker chest piece here with weapon handling on it. I rolled Brace and I threw on a 20% repair skills mod. I'm not going to roll on any crits because I'm thinking if we hit a high number of our shots, then we should be okay with our raw weapon damage. We'll make some adjustments as we go. And the gloves, I got Fenris with weapon handling and repair skills. So this is our first piece of strikers and with two pieces, it gives us 15% weapon handling. Three pieces gives us 15% rate of fire. I have rolled weapon handling and again, 20% repair skills mod. The knees and holster are basically the same. So for the backpack, I'm going with the memento to give us a little bit more raw damage as well as armor and to support our repair skills. So part of what's gonna make this build work is the CTAR. It comes with a high rate of fire and great weapon handling. So this particular one is the named version called the Rail Splitter. It comes with perfectly accurate, which is 50% more weapon accuracy. You can only get this from the DZ. Now, if that just made you cringe, you should definitely watch this video where I show you how to get unlimited DZ gear without ever going into the dark zone. I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, I'm at the Fallen Cranes control point playing on Heroic. This feels really good, but I need to remember to stay in cover because that's when Brace kicks in. Gonna make some quick changes to the gun here because I have such high accuracy, I'll be aiming for a lot of headshots. And since it's handling so well, I wanna give myself a little bit more range. Oh yeah, this feels like a laser beam. I'm going for headshots here at range. The downside of the CTAR is that it doesn't allow me to put the ACOG 4X scope on it for more optimal range. If it did, I would definitely have done that. I love the visibility on that scope too. I'm gonna push on these guys as much as possible, but also stay in cover as much as possible. Oh man, this thing just shreds through weak points. Like butter. Yeah, I actually feel really powerful. And this is just raw weapon damage, no damage bonuses. I think for my play style, which is aggressive run and gun, Braced slows me down. It's not that I don't play in cover, I do. It's just that there's a lot of times that in between cover, you might be facing off with an enemy. So I wanna make some changes for those moments. Made a quick change, I'm going to a four piece striker since I'm hitting all my shots. So I swapped out my Fenris gloves for striker. So this should give me amplified damage on hit. And as I'm using this, I'm wondering how much the human eye hand coordination benefits after a certain point of weapon handling. I mean, there's probably a benefit drop off after a certain number, like, I don't know, 60%.
So I'm not sure I'm feeling a big difference between 60% and 160% like we have here. So let's shave some off. Okay, so now I'm at the MLK library control point and I've tweaked the build. I put on a Fenris mask with weapon handling and repair skills and a repair skills mod. And for my chest, I have Cheska, which gives me 10% crit chance. I'd rather this be Walker, but there it is. Now, the reason why I actually went with this piece is for the talent Obliterate, which gives me 25% weapon damage on crit. So because we're running Obliterate, crit chance doesn't hurt. It only allows you to get to that max 25% faster. However, I've learned it's not actually necessary with these types of builds. Because we're landing so many of our shots and our rate of fire is so friggin' high, when it comes to the time it takes to reach max 25% on Obliterate, we're not really getting much from any crit chance we try to roll on. So yeah, I'm thinking the faster the weapon, the better. So I'm actually going to also run with another C tar that has measured on it, which gives us an additional 20% rate of fire on that front half of that clip, not to mention 30% more weapon damage on the back half. So for this weapon, we'll have about 54% weapon handling. And for the rail splitter, we'll still have about 113%. And what I'll do is swap between the weapons depending on the range of my target. All right, let's go. So this is the CTAR with measured and it feels really good. The accuracy, speed and power seems to be in balance. I mean, with this speed and power, I feel like a god. Have any of you played with Striker? If you like a high rate of fire, power, and great weapon handling, be sure to check out this Bighorn build. It shoots like a C-tar and hits like a truck. And of course, don't forget to like this video. Okay, kicking off this control point. I don't know about you guys, but it's always a rumble when I come to MLK. Okay, so I'll be swapping weapons throughout. The one with the walnut skin is the rail splitter. The all black one is the one with measured. Not having brace really frees me up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. When push comes to shove, we're out DPSing. Of course, we added Obliterate, which I think just brought everything in balance. But where I'm seeing this build shine is speed and accuracy for sure. Ooh, it looks like an elite resource convoy joined the party. This will be fun. So I want to hear your thoughts on this, guys. I mean, what do you think about the time to kill you're seeing here? Do you think it's putting out enough damage? And if so, what would you do with all that space on your build? So on this, you saw I put on repair skills. Would you roll in armor regen or mix in some protection from elites? Or maybe add some more skill haste and make use of that banshee more often. I could also see running with a pair of death grips for an additional 10% armor on kill.
Okay, here's the build template I'll leave you with. I think this is the better of the builds that we tried today. I think the only thing I would change is if you could go with one piece Fenris and one piece Walker. I think the Sitar with Measured is a great add. Definitely three piece Striker. And there's no doubt that Memento was kicking in a lot. So for this AR, we were running about 54% weapon handling. From other builds, I can tell you, you can go as low as 40% weapon handling and still land the majority of your shots. I can't wait to hear what you guys come up with. Hey, do you want to see me punch the lights out of some rogues? Check out one of my favorite builds.